Welcome to the Little Planets Photoshop tutorial. My name is Kelsey, and today I'm going to show you how to take a regular image and distort it into these awesome little planets. This is my final result, and this is the image that I started with. You can use a panoramic photograph or a regular image. If you have a regular image, you're going to need to crop it to make it more panoramic dimensions. So get your crop tool here on the left and cut out the extra space, usually sky or grass or something that doesn't really have a lot going on there and then make it narrower like this. The next step is go to image, image size, make sure that constrained proportions is unchecked so that you can make these amounts different if you want. I'm going to set mine to 3,000 each so that they're the same amount right here. Click OK. And that's going to stretch it into a square shape like so. The next step is to go back to image, image rotation, and flip it 180 degrees. The reason why we're going to do this is because the distortion tool distorts from the top, making the top more squeezed in, and making the bottom more stretched out. If I don't invert the image, it will be the reverse of what I want my final effect to be. So the next step is to go filter, distort, polar coordinates. Then make sure it's rectangular to polar and click OK. These clouds stretch out like this. I need to take this out. Take your eyedropper tool, pick a color that is close to the sky color you want, and then just paint away all of those streaks. So there I've done a quick job of taking away the sky mistakes. Now go in right here. This seam is where people are going to see what you did. So you take your clone tool, press the Alt key to grab a patch of what you want to copy from. If you make it on normal, it's going to blend what effects you want together. So watch how I put it in like this and then the computer will blend it for me or if you want to replace it and have no blending you do replace so if I want this to be blue and I don't want any blending I want it to be blue I do replace like that but right now I'm gonna do normal because usually the computer knows pretty well what I want and then also come in here and just erase that line And on this image, I got really lucky because this, although this wasn't here, this makes it look like it's just the corner of a building. So let's just polish up the sidewalk just a little. And then we're basically done. So that is a rough rendition of what it'll look like. And after I've gone in and done a lot of polishing, it'll look like this. And that's how to make a little planet's image.